We are about to investigate six major terms that can be understood in 13 different ways in relationship to the Messianic era. These terms are only a few terms from an incredible multi-term matrix that we will spend a minute on introduction to this video. Please note that these terms were not all mentioned or not fully explained in the video the Messianic Era is upon us. These are the six Messianic Era messages that we will be looking at. The six terms or messages contain 82 letters in total. They are all found within a 42 letter line as shown here. Altogether, we shall see 13 distinct messages when we look at variation within the six major terms. The 13 messages are grouped in the six portions as shown here. For example, term number two can be explained in four different ways. A vigorous sign, very soon, my nation is scared. In the first version, it was the messenger or the Messiah who was pleading. In the second version, it is the master of the universe, not the capital M who is pleading to the Messiah. He should hurry up. My nation, referring to the master of the universe's nation as opposed to my nation, the messenger nation, the messenger is asking for a sign very soon from the master of the universe. The messenger is pleading for a sign quickly because the nation is daydreaming that you, the master of the universe, will redeem them. Or the master of the universe is talking to the messenger. My nation is daydreaming that you will redeem them. Briefly reviewing the YouTube video, The Messianic Era is Upon Us, we see that year 1928 is the most statistically significant year in the Bible Code over many decades. It was a giant leap for mankind. Women made a major leap for equality with men and the men to be equal to the birds in the air and in their eyes equal to a creator. In a matrix centered around year 1928, we see that a sign is given that we are about to enter the messianic era. The matrix predicts in great details events that took place since 1928 as a proof that the end of days are here and now. It also tells us that the Messiah is for all the nations. There is evidence in the main matrix that the year 1928 can be looked upon as the beginning of the end of days or the messianic era. Let us now zero in on this vertical line that has so many terms. Let us look first at the four terms going from left to right on the screen where in the real matrix they are going from top to bottom. The first term as indicated here states, give a master of the universe. Ah, it is a burning issue for me. It tortures like a fire. Give us your love. Give us your kindness. Give us your help. In every generation, there is a judge, prophet, a king, or righteous person who pleads for the nation. Here, the pleading uses words to emphasize the urgency and burning pain. The burning pain can easily be seen as the burning of the Torah scrolls, burning in people in synagogue and in incinerators in the concentration camps. This could also be the people's plea where me is the nation. 
Typically, most if not all possibilities are true. The second term states a messenger, it could be the Messiah, a sign quickly, my nation is scared. This can be the messenger's request, please console my nation quickly with a sign, or this can be the master of the universe's saying, a messiah, a sign, will be available very soon. I know that my nation is scared. The third term states, a year the creator, the master of the universe, signed a proof. The master of the universe promises, he signs that the Holocaust curse will be a blessing. He always prepares the cure before the disease. A present the master of the universe wanted, a present in order to sign a proof that the messenger is coming very soon. The master of the universe does not have to advise his people what is about to happen. However, he is compassionate and does not want them to be scared. All they have to do is believe in him, his warnings and his promises. We have seen four terms now where the second term was seen with its many variations at the beginning of the video. By extending term 4a with one letter, we get a different meaning. It says, only a present wanted the master of the universe. A more meaningful question by the matrix is, what kind of a present does the master of the universe want? The master of the universe wants reciprocation. He gave us everything. Do we listen to him? Our sages advise us to recite twice a day verses from the Torah, including Deuteronomy 6, 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy master of the universe with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. He wants mankind to benefit from life on earth. He knows that only following his commandments it can be achieved. So the new term 4b is asking the question, what? Do we love him or at the very least want him? With all our heart, soul and might? Do we want him? This is exactly what the matrix is asking now. What? Do you want your husband? Look at term 5a. To understand the depth and also meaning or implication of these two terms that share most of their letters and read in opposite directions, you must refer to Annex C. You will then understand the meaning of Song of Songs 6.3 I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. The husband is the master of the universe and the wife is his nation. The ideal love goes in both directions just as the codes do. It shares and has much in common just as the codes do. Note that the direction of each term 4b and 5a are in opposite directions. Also note that two terms share eight letters as shown in yellow. Note the terms going in opposite directions. Each has the want term. The master of the universe wants and the country, the nation wants. What does the nation want? What does the master of the universe want? Therefore, as in any normal relationship, if you want to get, you must give. And you should give your love to the Lord. 
By extending one letter to term 5a, we get term 5b. The one that wants in this version is a male. The usage of male in Hebrew represents male and female or only male. Here it may refer to the masses. Hey people, do you really want your man, the Messiah? Do not forget, the master of the universe also wants something. By adding a few letters, the matrix now becomes even clearer. What? Do you want your man? Let us clarify the issues. You want and I want. What do we do now? Let us not forget that as per Song of Songs, the Beloved are the nation and the master of the universe. And therefore, he, the male here, may refer to the master of the universe. The matrix tells us that we cannot have it only our way. There is what you want, and there is what the master of the universe, I want. We saw five interwoven terms in one column. Those terms can be read in more ways as shown. However, there are more than five distinct terms within those letters. The similar terms A's, B's and C's are not shown here, but number six is added. Note that each term is sharing at least a few letters with at least a few other terms. Those joined terms combine to give much more powerful messages. In addition, these vertical terms share letters with some horizontal terms, yet another indication of the strength of their messages. Term number six states, each nation has a gift from the master of the universe. Not only are so many letters shared within so many terms, also, the words are being shared. The word nation is shared with another term, nation, as we've seen before. And even here, in the two horizontal terms, we can see the term present. We have seen so many variations on the original six terms. By adding or subtracting letters, we get by far more than 82 letters to describe all the variations within the 42 letters line about four times as many letters of information in a 42 letter line. 13 messages remind us of the 13 attributes of the master of the universe. I believe that this video presents all his love and kindness in developing a fascinating study on his gift to us. Signing a proof quickly because his nation is scared However, he is fair. We know what we want, and we should know what he wants. It is all in his Torah. If we follow his ways, all the nations will enjoy his 13 attributes of mercy, forgiveness, etc., and live to enjoy the coming of the Messiah.